Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So I've been going back and forth about whether or not I'll do this video, but I decided to go ahead and do this video. Uh, Saturday, I was listening to O'Shea Duke Jackson's live stream. And during that live stream, I left a comment and O'Shea posted the comment and then provided his commentary about my channel. You know, he talked about my background as a lawyer. He went on to talk about how I do videos that are supportive of black women. But then he went on to talk about how black women don't support my channel like that, that black women don't appreciate my channel. And then he also went on to talk about how a lot of times black women have more appreciation for white men and Asian men when they do videos that are supportive of black women or videos uh, praising black women, talking about how much they love black women and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he said that those particular videos get all this support. You know, the women will post them on other websites and they will get more and more traffic and they basically go viral. And then he also pointed out how a lot of these non-black men that get all this support from black women don't even really support the black community like that. They don't even really know the black community like that. Uh, they're doing it for other motives. Um, so I just want to take some time <clears throat> to, uh, you know, respond to what he had to say um, and just share my thoughts. And this whole question, this whole issue makes me just think about the larger question of whether or not black women, period, appreciate black men. Uh, whether they do, period, you know, larger than just my particular issue with my particular videos. Um, so this may be, hopefully it won't be a long video, but I'm just going to share all of my thoughts about this issue. Uh, the reason why I expanded this before I get into it, but the reason why I expanded the topic beyond just a conversation about my channel is because lately I've been watching some videos by the brother Voltron Black. And if you're not subscribed to that brother's channel, I encourage you to subscribe to it. I'll post a link to one of his videos in the description box once I get a chance to. Because the brother Voltron Black does these videos where he's challenging these these women who are... Uh, disrespectful, for lack of a better word, towards black men. These women who are quote unquote swirlers and, you know, they're all about promoting interracial relationships and they're constantly uh, disrespecting black men, talking about black men don't do this, black men don't do that. But these same women make all kinds of excuses for white men that engage in bad behavior and all that kind of stuff. So, Let's get into it. You know, the first thing I'll say is this about my channel. My channel does receive support from black women, even though like my audience is majority men, uh, like over 60% of my audience is a male audience, about 30 something percent is female, but I do have loyal female supporters that have been with my channel for several years now and they support my videos. They regularly comment, uh, so they do appreciate my videos. And those are the women that matter to me, the women that appreciate the content. Um, so I'm not concerned about people who don't. Uh, there are plenty of women that appreciate the messaging in my content. The other thing that I want to say is this. Uh, I don't do videos for a pat on the back or praise from women. I, the, I don't do my videos to simp to women and stuff like that. I do these videos and I post my content based on my genuine beliefs. I don't tailor my videos to an audience. I don't tailor my videos just to get views or anything like that. Obviously, we all want views, but for me, views are a byproduct. If people rock with what I'm saying, then that's great. But I don't tailor my message in hopes of having all these people support me. And this for me is not some kind of online dating site where I'm trying to win the approval and love of women in particular. And you know, for the most part, my content is varied. I don't focus on relationships. You know, every now and then I will talk about relationships like right now, but that's not the focus of my channel. I don't focus on women's issues. So that's part of the reason why you know, my viewership is not primarily a women's audience. 
or you know where I have large numbers of women supporting me. I talk about you know politics. I talk about political education. I talk about the empowerment of our people. I deal with broad issues such as pop culture issues and things like that. So since my content is not tailored towards women, it's not going to get overwhelming support from women. So that's part of the reason why my channel may not have all that support from a lot of women. But again, my point is this. There are plenty of women that appreciate my channel. Uh, his point about, you know, these non-black men doing these uh, videos about black women, that's a valid point. Those videos do receive far more support than videos done by black YouTuber, black male YouTubers such as myself. And there are a couple of reasons for that um, that I can go into. Uh, I think, you know, the biggest and most obvious reason for that is people like things that are extraordinary, something that's different, that's out of the norm. You know, a black man supporting his black women is something that sh should be expected. That's something that should come natural. That should not be some kind of anomaly that's worthy of all this attention. It should be just something that normally occurs. But, you know, the idea of a white man or some Asian man praising black women is something that's different. So that in and of itself will generate more attention and all that kind of stuff. And I understand that. Um, it's unfortunate, but oftentimes people take for granted certain things that they're constantly around, you know, take for granted certain, um, uh, you know, certain blessings, for instance, or certain benefits or certain things that they are around so often, it just becomes so normalized that they don't even really acknowledge it or appreciate it. And that's unfortunate. But it's the reality. And you can look at that, you know, for instance, with civil rights and all that kind of stuff, certain rights we have, people take for granted and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's one reason. The other reason is just the concept of self-hatred. It's like a lot of times, you know, we have been programmed to seek white approval. We've been programmed to think that nothing is official until the white man puts his stamp of approval on it or some non-black person puts their stamp of approval on it. That's how we think. That's how we've been programmed to think. And that's part of the reason why, um, you know, these white men or Asian men receive all this support from black women. And a lot of those, some of those women, you know, really just don't appreciate black men or don't even have much love or respect for black men. So that's part of the reason why they would gravitate towards those particular videos. And the numbers speak for themselves. The numbers show uh, that those types of videos go viral, tend to go viral as opposed to black men praising black women. Uh, so those particular women that have all this love and support for you know those non-black men praising them and they don't show that same kind of love and support for black men, those particular women don't appreciate black men. But there are plenty of black women that do. And, you know, overall, like there are a lot of women that don't appreciate a good black man, period. Um, you know, for instance, a man could do all these things for a woman, you know, <laughs> you know, what some people call something and all that kind of stuff. And the woman still won't appreciate them, won't appreciate the things that they have done. And that's just a reality. And the thing is, like, you really shouldn't find yourself in a position where you're doing all these things for a woman to win her approval. You know, ideally, a woman should love you for who you are, for your character, for your personality, for your, your traits as a human being, for your character, you know, your traits as a man. That's the reason why a woman should love and appreciate you not based on what kind of things you do for her and all that kind of stuff, not for the things you buy her or all this kind of stuff. She should appreciate you for who you are. And there are plenty of women that don't appreciate uh, those kind of men or whatever. And it's up to a woman to decide what they define as a good man. You know, we are not, like, I don't think that people are entitled to, uh, to basically, you know, have certain types of women be with them. You're not entitled. The women define who they want to be with. But I just want to let people know, just like with my channel, 
there are women that will appreciate you for who you are. For that will truly appreciate you and love you for who you are. It's just a matter of finding those women and focusing on those women instead of chasing women that don't have no respect for you or appreciation for you. Uh, so, th you know, that's the message in the larger scale of things. And then I just want to get back to Voltron Black. Like, he does all these videos to these women, like, challenging their views. You know, their statements, for instance, saying that black men don't uh, defend black women, black men don't provide for black women. And for me, like... I just think that it's time for black men to even stop arguing with those kind of women. Stop going back and forth with those kind of women. Stop wasting your energy on women that don't even have any kind of love for black men. Stop trying to convince them that uh, black men are worthy. Let them go. Let them leave black instead if that's what they choose to do. Let uh, Just let them go. You know, um, stop you know, going back and forth with these women and trying to convince them that black men are worthy. They don't have any respect for the black man. And so I just think it's a waste of time to even go back and forth with them. It's a waste of time to even watch their content. You know, a lot of these women, um, you know, they started off, some of them started off as being um, what one would call pro-black or being concerned about the community and all that kind of stuff. And they went from that to being uh, focused primarily on women's issues. They went from that to talking about how evil the black man is, how messed up the black man is. Uh, they went from being about community to basically uh, demonizing, for instance, black male victims of police brutality and talking about how they're not going to support those men or rally for those men and those their families and stuff like that. And for me, those women, those types of women have abandoned the black community. And I don't think we should waste our time focusing on those women. To hell with them. Let them do their thing. Um, let's focus on the sisters, the many black women that love and support the black man. That's what we need to focus on. Let's uplift those sisters. Let's celebrate those sisters. Um, let's focus on those sisters, you know. Um, yeah, so that's just what I think, man. We just need to appreciate the sisters that appreciate us. Focus on the sisters that love us, and many of them do. Like, that. they, you know, the women that appreciate black men are many. And, you know, here on YouTube, you have the loudest voices that don't have love for black men, but they don't represent the majority of black women, period. Uh, so those are my thoughts. You know, uh, tell me what you all think about this subject. Do you think black women appreciate black men? If not, why not? If so, why do you think they do? So with that, please rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I post new content on here. Peace and blessings. Have a great day.